decorating the front of this sketchbook. Now in the past, whenever I have worked with sketchbooks, I have like filled the pages with the actual final products, but this one is actually going to be sketches of the ideas in the videos. I hope that that makes sense, but we're just gonna get on with the videos, so let's go. So here is our sketchbook. It's a little bit big for the frame, but I think on this very first page I'm going to sketch out some ideas. So for some reason I've been thinking about like weather a lot. I don't know why, but like, I don't know. I'm feeling like a cloud. Maybe this cloud not exactly like that shape. Or maybe... Should it be a happy cloud? <laughs> I feel like that's really cute. Little tiny eyebrows. <laughs> or maybe I want... I like the shape of this cloud a lot better, I think. But maybe I want like a... me cloud. It's kind of angry. It's starting to look like Mario Kart. Kind of cloud. <laughs> maybe I could do... Of embarrassed cloud. It can be like raining. <laughs> I think I like that idea. It can be like raining. I do like that idea. And then I feel like a flower or something should be in it. It's like This flower is kind of cute. Could be like... I do like how that flower looks. It's maybe like... Maybe you should be holding like an umbrella. But like the umbrella would be over itself. Maybe if it was like, I'll draw it down here, an umbrella, and the flower was like somewhere here.
I do like this idea. I feel like I might need something else, maybe. Maybe I don't. I think I'm gonna try coloring some stuff in just to get some ideas for colors. Put that down for some, I don't know, background, like so that it doesn't bleed through to the next page or something like that. Let me get it right. There we go. Okay. I think I'll color this one. ideas to see what I would like the best and I think I like this purple and pink one the best. Now on the front cover it'll be paint instead of markers but this just gives me an idea of what I want to do and I think I'm going to do that one for all the petals. I'm going to color the umbrella now and see how I like that and I might color in the cloud up here because I know I'm going to be using that cloud. So I'm just going to play around some more and see what I want to do here for colors in the front of the book. <laughs>
some other colors to see how I would want things to look. And I do know that I want these petals, so I want the purple slash pink petals. I think I want like a yellow middle wherever the flower's face will be. That's why I put two different colors there. So yellow flower face. I do like this green. Good green. For the umbrella, I want like a neutral tone. Do I want a neutral tone or do I just... I think I actually want a nature tone. Meaning like earthy. That's what I mean by that. And as for the umbrella handle, I think like maybe a light gray would look good. And then for the cloud, I would like more, more of a gray tone with some blues mixed in. I'd also like the cheeks to be red or pink on both of these. And these, I want them to be lighter. I think that's it. We can get started on the, on this part. <laughs> All right, so now that this has dried, I'm going to put some background colors in and then let that dry as well. have a general color background set it's very basic especially this line right here but I'm gonna let that dry and then we will go on to the next steps of adding more to the background and adding the flower and the umbrella and the cloud as well <laughs> okay so now that this is dry I will sketch out our design on it and go from there <laughs> because this will be the first of this new series where I actually use a sketchbook for ideas like this. So that's why I wrote book one, but now it is time to paint this. Yay! <laughs>
here is our final product. <laughs> um, I have sealed it three times with this Mod Podge, the water-based sealer glue and finish. You mostly use this on like puzzles whenever you want them to stay together and stuff like that. It's mostly just like waterproof pretty much. Not exact, like not completely, but it is waterproof, so I like to use it. Now I did three coats because the first time, as you saw, I had to take the uh, sponge brush, brush and like dab it on like this because the marker I used, whoops, I hit the tripod. The marker I used streaked, which was completely my fault. It was not the um, brand's fault at all. I chose a Papermate Flare M and I didn't realize that it streaks whenever you have the glue on it, which is not a problem. It just streaked a little bit in a few places up there and then like here and here in the grass, which is not a big deal whatsoever. And one other thing that's my, my, my thing too is I drew my son really wonky looking, but I think it's really cute. It's just a very wonky looking son, but I really don't care. Overall, I think that this actually turned out quite adorable. I keep tipping it because the glare from the light shows through the, the Mod Podge. But um, I think it turned out really well. I was going for like kind of a cartoony look and that's what I got. A really cute cartoony weather design. <laughs> I think it turned out well and I cannot wait to continue to use this book to draw pieces and stuff in the future. Just like, I can take this out now. Just like we did on page one here. I am so excited! I think it turned out so cute! Oh my gosh! I honestly love how wonky and goofy this turned out. It's so cute. In my opinion, I actually really love mistakes because it makes the piece one of a kind. You know, you can't really replicate it. And so I think it turned out great. The next plan is to just uh, clean up the side here where all this paint you know, is everywhere and take the red paint that's here <laughs> and put it on the side of the book and just write book one. So if it's up on a shelf, I can see what number it is. But thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I cannot wait to use the sketchbook. If you want to see more photos of the work I have done in the past and the work that is going to be in the future, you can follow my Facebook and my Instagram. They're both CEC Photography and Art. I will write those down in the down bar below. And if you want to see what I do outside of this channel, I have a vlog channel here on YouTube and I will link the whole channel in the down bar below as well. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Rock on guys.